Hi, I am talking tonight about how we do our Bible studies here around the house. Um, we have tried many things over the years um, and at different seasons in life, different things have worked. But for our family right now, trying to do Bible study before breakfast time doesn't work. Great time of day and I think if it was just Mark and I, it would work. But there are so many things to get done around the house before we start breakfast in the morning that we can't get Bible study in. I have the baby to change a diaper and get dressed. I have Abigail, the three-year-old, that still occasionally needs help getting dressed. I have Josiah, the six-year-old, but because of his limited use of his left hand, he still needs help getting dressed. Plus, I have to dress myself and get breakfast on the table for all of us. Um, and that doesn't include anything else that just randomly happens on the day, especially if it's a day that we have to get out of the house to go shopping or pick up somebody or any of those things. So we have started incorporating Bible time into our meals and it's not the only Bible time we have. I'll explain on another video, the Bible that I do with the preschoolers during our homeschool time. And then each of the older kids does individual Bible time during that. And we do different Bible studies um, depending on a topic we see in the news or something that we're learning in church. Um, our Bibles are regularly open around the house, but there are days that we get to the end of the day and it's kind of confusing on what we did all day, even though we know we were busy all day. So a way that we remedied that with our Bible study is we have been reading Bible aloud at meals. So at breakfast time, um, we started in Genesis and we just read one chapter. Um, so we started in Genesis one and some days there's a lot of discussion and we sit at the breakfast table for an hour. Um, and then sometimes even let the littles get down and play while we finish our breakfast time discussion. Um, and then there's other times where there's not as much to talk about. Not that there's not something to talk about, but nothing that day is, um, something we feel needs to be covered. Um, in as much depth and so it's a shorter reading and the words just get read but we've been um, doing that and we are this time around from this season in life we are now in Exodus 30 ish I don't remember the exact number um, we just go on to the next number every morning so I know we recently read about the priest garments and the Ten Commandments um, being put on the tablets and the golden calf so we're somewhere around Exodus 30 um, and so it just depends on how long, how much God has for us that day. Sometimes there are things that it reminds us of a, you know, something else that's going on in the world or something that was talked about in church and it'll keep the discussion going for a while. And sometimes it's something that gets revisited later in the day because God is very interesting like that, that he can have us read something that just will come up later in the day or in the next couple days that we have um, actual Bible knowledge. We can turn back to a scripture we've just recently read. And then we've been reading Proverbs um, for the last, I don't know, three or four months, four or five months, um, according to whatever the date on the calendar is. Proverbs has 31 books. And so, I mean, 31 chapters, not 31. 31 chapters and so we read the one that coordinates with the date so if today is the 17th we would read the 17th chapter of Proverbs and we've been doing that for the last couple months and we actually did a study of Proverbs um, for over you know the course of a year um, as a family just two years ago so Proverbs is a fairly familiar book with us um, so we had been doing that until just um, two days ago, we've now started reading a Psalm every day and that's what we're going to be doing at our lunchtime. And again, um, we never know how much we're going to say, depending on that Psalm. Some of the Psalms are really familiar. Um, some of the Psalms are more a Psalm of like, we haven't gone through them yet, but, um, from what I remember from reading them in the past, some are more of a time of repentance. Some are more in a time of um, when David's like running away and trying to like escape a situation. There are ones that are just praising God. And so depending on the day and depending what's in there will depend on how deep we go into that. But it's nice to go around 
do it with meals because we know we're going to eat meals every day. And as a family, being a homeschool family, especially with daddy home, but we would do this even if daddy were not here. Um, I sit down and eat the meals with the children. So, and I've done that even when Mark was working. So I know we're going to eat three meals a day. So that gets us two chapters of Bible. Um, there may be an odd day where we have to grab something while we're out and it doesn't get read. But for the most part, we read those two chapters a day. Um, and so I'd say over the course of a week, that would be 14 chapters, one in the morning, you know, one at breakfast and one at lunch. We read at least um, 11 or 12 over you know, over the week. Um, even last week when we were sick, we were still reading them. Um, the other thing we do is at dinner time, we have been going through Greek and Latin flashcards um, to learn some of the root words of the words we use in um, just our everyday vocabulary, where they're coming from. So today we were learning about the word nomen and nomenclature and pronoun and where all those different words come from, um, which will help all of us in the future as we encounter new words in books we read. Um, and so that again is something that we do most days. We do that. We do the Bible, even if we have guests, we don't necessarily do the Latin and Greek words if we have guests. Um, if it's my mom, she does it with us, but um, we don't necessarily do the Latin and Greek words with all of our guests because it's easy to know the words we had before. We know the words they don't. Um, but that's just a way to get a little bit of Bible or another um, homeschooling subject that you're trying to get into your day. Um, do it around a meal. There's kids sitting quietly. For us, it's sometimes hard to get all of the little ones sitting quietly at the same time, but when they have food in front of them, they do. And so usually I read and then just finish my meal after um, we're done, or as we start discussing a passage, I'll take bites while other people are discussing something. Um, or I will start the reading and then I'll pass it off to somebody who's more finished with their meal um, as I finish mine. But it's just an easy way, as you know, you'll be sitting at the table to get in some of those topics. But God's word is always good to get in. Um, I know it's something I never mean to neglect, but it happens um, just in the busyness of diapers and laundry and dishes and all those other things that happen. So um, I'm just hoping that's an encouragement to be able to um, be in his word daily, to be able to meditate on his word. Um, we just read Psalm 1 yesterday where it talks about um, blessed is the man who's like a tree planted by rivers of water who um, just prospers in everything he does. So I just wanted to encourage you to meditate on his law, um, which would always be a blessing to everybody. So I hope this message finds everybody well, and I'll plan to do a message in the next couple days. Thanks. Have a good night.